Hey, hey, it's Mac, and it is time once again for Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Let's get this show on the road. Welcome to episode three of my long play series for this game. So, um, we last left off on the uh, Baleful Edict, which is my home base. I need to speak to Lunette, or Lunit, however you say that name, my uh, engineer, my chief engineer, and we probably have to do some uh, ship repairs. So let's have a chat with uh, Lunette first. Protocol demands a preliminary salutation. Consider this requirement fulfilled. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, a lot of dialogue options we can go through. We must activate quarantine protocols with the Poxwalker specimen. I will not have the edict put at risk, even for an Inquisitor. Okay. The ship will remain sterile. One thing that kind of throws me off is that there's only partial line readings with the voice recordings, so they start off with speech and then it drops off abruptly and then you have to read the rest, which is, I wish they'd just gone all the way through, like 100% voice acting, you know? Agreed, Commander. This is why I have instigated seven layers of redundancies as well as the highest security protocols and even a binarious rubric mesh placed over the Baleful Edict's cogitator systems. The ship will remain sterile. Will it hold up until we are done in the sector? The Baleful Edict has never let any of the brotherhoods that have traveled in her down. Still, the Inquisitor's demands are exacting. Yes, we are operating on her timescale now. That is the way of the Inquisition. They are often illogical, driven by the vulgarities of flesh. Instant results required even when a dispassionate analysis would prove beneficial. The dangers of minds unenhanced by the Omnissiah. Good point. Fair point. Let us discuss something else. Waiting for new input. So it's nice. The uh, options I chose, which led into the whole dialogue tree, has been checked off. So I don't have to select it again. How long did you know Commander Agravain? You have been the primary vessel for the commander for the past 22 years. Although the vagaries of travel within the warp mean any span of time is approximate. He had the respect of the Battle Brothers and crew. He was a leader in the Grey Knights, so he was revered. However, my own analysis has his mission success rate at a mere 99.7%. He spent many hours in repentant contemplation over the 0.3% inadequacy whenever I reminded him of it. How would he have dealt with an Inquisitor? He did not suffer fools, or those that dared countenance his authority. Okay. Proportionally, while he would not welcome them on board, the commander upheld the traditions of the chapter's relationship with the Inquisition. And then he, he did not suffer fools. A uh, quick probability scry suggests there is a 73.6% chance that had Agravain still been in command, he would have been in confrontation with Inquisitor Vakir. It seems he had an influence. Your defiance toward an Inquisitor is curious. Defiance suggests an emotional need to obstruct or obfuscate. I merely state the truth. The Baleful Edict is in need of respite after our losses against the Cadium. We serve the Emperor and must go where he requires. Indeed, I serve the Omnissiah. It is by his mechanical will that we ply the stars. Gotta ply those stars, baby. The Emperor and the Omnissiah, they are one and the same, yes? The Ecclesiarchy's Imperial Creed carries only of a course. echo of the Machine God's true will. Come, such words should not surprise an Astartes. After all, you may revere the Emperor, but I know it is not your creed to worship him, especially the Grey Knights, who can trace their gene seed directly to the Golden Throne. 
Let us discuss something else. Waiting for new input. Uh, what is the status of our construction efforts? I was waiting on you, Commander, to allocate the priority order. Without that data point, I cannot cogitate the required resources. A decision is required. Oh, that was entirely read out. Amazing. Right, right. So I I'll get to that in a moment. Waiting for new input. What is the status of our construction? Uh, did I already not ask this? I was waiting on yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't check it off. So uh, that's all for now. I must attend to repairs. Yes, yes. Okay, let's do uh, ship status. By the way, uh, despite the inconsistencies in the voice acting and line readings, well, first of all, the voice acting is excellent. It's just the incomplete line readings, but I will say that the writing is spot on. I, I feel like I'm reading from a Warhammer 40k novel. Maybe not the best of the novels, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's legit. It's legit. It holds the standard for sure. Okay, we're looking at uh, blah, 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 blah. Improved reactor output one. Additional projects unlocked. Although we're, although repairing the plasma reactor was sufficient for the most basic reconstruction efforts, power output remains too unstable to support more advanced facilities. The results will take time to see, but bolstering the reactor is an essential step toward restoring the edict to her rightful glory. 12 servitors in 12 days. Let's upgrade. They're just kind of leading me through by the nose for these first couple upgrades, it seems, which is totally fine by me. In progress. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's check in on the research. Let's talk to Vakir. You have my attention, Knight. How's your pock walker specimen? This one appears to be some kind of host. An object is nestled within. When's the subject of the Emperor now infected by chaos? Is that unusual? It is different from what I've seen with these puppets in the past. This is undoubtedly the work of one of the Plague God's minions, but its vector is unusual. I will let you know once I have completed my findings. Let's discuss something if else. We must. Yeah. We must. I have not worked directly with an Inquisitor before. The Grey Knights will be needed in this task, and it is your duty to marshal them. That is irrelevant to me. I have already seen that the Baleful Edict lost its commander on the preceding mission. I will not accept such failure under my guidance. Why did you commandeer the ship? I had previously been hunting heretics siphoning power directly from the Hadex Anomaly, not far from your previous campaign. Once I directed my astropath to recover the stolen energy, she had the vision I shared with you when I arrived. Her message, it is ominous. Divining the visions of astropaths is an art in itself. But its omen is both dire and imminent. Of that I am certain. She spoke of a garden. Is it metaphorical or literal? I must delve into the records of my peers to reveal if there are similar references I could correlate. Do I bore you? Uh huh. No, of course not. Uh, that's actually all for now. So, <clears throat> yes, we'll we'll talk some more My later. Research beckons. How are you doing on your research, by the way? Twenty-four days remaining. You are taking your sweet, sweet time. We'll let uh, Lunit do his her thing, and uh, we're ready to talk. Oh, let's talk to Ektar. Second in command. Come, let us talk over what troubles you, brother. Is the Inquisitor an aid or hindrance? She already makes demands on a ship badly in need both. of restitution. <laughs> but we should heed her requests, at least whilst our goals are aligned. So we are honor bound to her? Even we must respect the authority of the Inquisition when the situation demands it. We may get some leeway for who we are, but the Inquisition answers only to him. Yes, yes, the Inquisitor is all-powerful. I I note you invoked us as Chamber Militant. It is a term that has fallen out of fashion. 
yet it is an ancient law that each inquisitorial ordo has a dedicated military arm to use when they require. We, in theory, can be called upon by the ordo malleus to which she belongs. Interesting. Interesting. If the title is somewhat antiquated, why use it? It was a strategic decision. Ancient customs are invoked that the Inquisitors should now abide by, such as giving us tactical command in the field. See, it is not only Inquisitors who can play these di diplomatic games. Oh, you're so clever. Whatever best helps you, Commander. Ektar, why do you not lead us? Oh, good question. It seems the Emperor has other plans for me. An imperfection it means I must focus my efforts in a more indirect way. That's a cop out. An imperfection. A matter between myself and the Emperor. As ordered by Grand Master Voldus, my penance is to serve on the edict but not leave it. Staying above the battlefields, I crave to fight on. Nevertheless, your advice will be invaluable. I hope I can be of some use. At least before they have me interned into a dreadnought sarcophagus. I hope to do justice to Agravain's legacy. He had a fitting end. Like so many of our brethren, he kept his secrets well, but I know he despised the servants of Korn most of all. Why the Blood God? Why indeed, it is not my place to say. But there are stillness around the old commander. There was a stillness around the old commander, a seething hatred that I didn't see in him against any of the other enemies we faced. Of course, Korn, being created by rage, would in turn be fed by Agravain's hatred, but that is the natural that is the nature and irony of chaos. By all means. That's all for now. We are the hammer. Mm. Remember that. Mm -mm -mm. I, I, will, I will never forget. Uh, no one is seriously injured, which is great. I mean the last mission was pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. So uh, let's get back out there let's ready and do a mission. For the trials to come. Advancing time, no enemy activity. Although our scans reveal undeniable signs of corruption in this sector, the enemy appears to be dormant for now. You should advance time until they reveal themselves and create mission opportunities where we can intervene. In the meantime, the Dominus will be able to restore some of the Edict's functionality and the Inquisitor can pursue her research. Waiting your orders. Scanners reveal no current enemy activity. Advance time to wait for new missions to appear. Yeah, let's do it. The days are just slipping by. Oh yeah. We got something. Bloodspawn detected three new missions are Prognosticator, pro prognosticar, pardon me. Choir has detected the presence of three new eruptions of bloom activity across the sector. We have informed Titan and must act on these new incursions to the best of our ability. Commander, our prognosticators have detected this yes. bloom in three separate systems. <laughs> we should examine one of them. A to select a system with a mission. So this is the system. Let's highlight it first, yeah? Highlight it. I have identified this planet as a mission location to combat the bloom. Let us examine further. With the system highlighted, click Y to view mission details. Why? From here, you can see some details for this mission, including the resources that Titan's armory will make available to us if we are successful. Okay, uh, Echoes of Contagion, Danger Level Low. I'm not gonna read the italic text. Let's see the uh, details. Corruption Level Zero. How do we, oh, there we go, yeah. Poxus, and Unknown Minion of Chaos. Kill all enemies, pretty straightforward. All right, let's do it. Here I go. Oh, ship project complete, improved reactor output, excellent. Can you feel it, Commander? The vibration of the deck plates, the thrumming in the plasma generator, 
the edict. She starts to sing again. It is a melody only those within the cult mechanicus can truly understand. But areas that have been devoid of power since our encounter with the Acadium are now back online. Additional projects unlocked. Start a new project. So. What else? It looks like the augmentation chamber could use some work. But I lack the servitors. Uh oh. Void shields cannot be brought back yet. Uh, barracks plus four capacity plus one recruit rank. Do I actually need this? Oh, I see. Within each major uh, support system, there are the subsystems. So, uh, yeah, augmentation chamber. I actually wasn't looking at that previously. Under the uh, personnel systems, there's this augurium. If I fix this, what happens? The augurium has been damaged and rendered inoperative. Until we realign its prismatic array, we will not be able to make effective use of our prognosticars to scry the enemy's activities. Having intelligence would be good. Uh, but uh, here, the uh, servitor production uh, in the augmentation chamber. The augmentation chamber has been damaged and rendered inoperative. Until we repair it, we will have to requisition all additional servitors from the storehouses on Titan. Okay, so it's gonna give us a, a steady supply of servitors if we fix this. This will take 12 days for two servitors versus four days, four servitors, pardon me, and, and nine days. I say we just set ourselves up for success by making sure that our servitor production is steady because we'll be needing more of them. So yeah, let's do this, even though it's gonna take longer. Um, yeah, time time flies in this game. At least it seems to fly. And then can I resume traveling? I was in, on my way to the mission, right? There we go. I'm coming. All right. Well, I'm glad I didn't spend too long uh, dithering around on the ship before my next mission. So here we are. I believe we can just go straight into the uh, loadout screen. And choose my uh, choose my soldiers. Choose my marines. Pardon me. Start the mission. A. Let's just use the same crew as last time. I uh, educated myself a little bit uh, in between uh, uh, last episode and today and looked up what these classes are. So, just the cars are supposed to be the tanky, beefy boys. I had that, I had that correct. So good on me. Uh, purgators are heavy weapons specialists. Interceptors are uh, sneaky rogue types, according to the article that I read. And the apothecary, as I imagine, is a healer, but also provides team buffs. And there's actually a whole lot more classes that I read about. I'm not gonna worry about it yet. And I don't worry too much about the loadouts. Um. I think uh, grenades are fine, but for the apothecary, what do I have? He's got a medic Medicaid skull tier one. That's fine too.
There's a there's a certain class that use a lot of willpower. I don't remember which ones those are. <laughs> uh, I'll stick with the, I'll stick with the grenades for the for um, Voldrid, Darig, and Ulrich. Let's just let's go with this. Let's go with this team. Yes. Psychic disturbances here echo those I encountered on Coronar. The hive cities are abandoned, but there is life below. Brothers, seek out any corruption and purge it. Okay. Cool. Ready to serve. Your orders? Let's be a little ballsier on this mission. The famous last words, but actually, let me save first. If I do anything too ballsy, I'll keep a, a mission save slot at the very least, and then I'll combine it with like a, a ship save slot, and that sh that should have me well covered. All right, let's move here. I'll be in full cover. Should be, should be, should be fine. Yeah, I don't think I played this mission last time on my on my. Uh, aborted uh, previous playthrough a couple months ago. Heavy weapons dudes also move him up. Give him, give him the support. There we go. Uh, we got our interceptor. Fall close behind. I think I can just move him right over here. Or even here. And the bloom goes up by f how, how 15% each turn? I think that's how it goes. Here, at your Wait, how do I rotate the camera again? Here we are. There's no full cover anywhere. It's all half cover. Okay. Well, oh, here we go. Full cover. Aha! There we are. Powers protect us. More of these cultists. I see one. Okay, so they stopped me from completing my movement, which is good because I would have went straight into their. Uh, Overwatch, Cone of Fire. So that's great. Once again, they've opened themselves up to uh, a grenading. Right? But I don't want... I don't want... Um, my Jesticar to do the grenading. At your service. Maybe my Interceptor can? There we go. Oh baby, look at that. Right in the kisser. I got two of them. I got two of them. That's what I want. This is exactly what I want. It doesn't let me do it? Oh, the range. Oh, the range. I didn't realize it was out of range. Fuzz. Okay, well maybe I will have uh How many, um, I have full action points on, uh, Ulrich, so. I, I assume that he also has a similar range on his grenade toss, yeah. So I gotta move a little closer. Fool, I am here to serve. Your command, yes, commander. There we go, that's what I wanted. 
Love it. Hold strong. Keep your faith. So I just grenade the ever-loving bejesus out of them? Maybe. <laughs> oh, look how close he is now. Can I get? Can I slash him? Oh, I can get him. Yes. Can I do like um, like move here first and then move here and then get him? Yeah, I want to be in some partial cover. At least I'll be shielded from this guy's fire on the left. Let's do it. Melee attack, right? Yes, it's gonna be the hammer time. This boy. <laughs> and I'll just keep this guy under full cover. I don't know if it's worthwhile doing. I don't think I can even do any Overwatch because they have the wall in my way. So, uh, okay. So we'll just chill. I'll just activate armor for myself. Just so I'm doing something. Instead of just like ending my turn. Suppressor fire. Okay, so Ulrich's suppressed. So I gotta take a shot. Oh, he just moves. Oh, now he's gotta take a shot. <laughs> oh, he's an Overwatch. Okay, we can solve this by using our interceptor. Interceptor can can help out. Will the interceptor uh, trigger? No, I'm, I'm safe. Do you want to get a little closer? Wonder if I could just so I could try shooting him. Try shooting him. I don't really do much because I'm too far away and he's got some cover. So I could move. Three AP, so I can spend two a one AP to move here, and I one AP to move here, and then to move. Pardon me. Two AP to move here, and then I can do uh, one more AP to to strike and kill um, this uh, this guy here. I get some stats on my uh, crit chance. Okay. And then away we go. I do get hit by the suppressive fire. And I got hit for quite a lot of damage, actually. But now my other guys are freed up. Oh, yeah. This is a time for uh, Ulrich to, to, to strike some fear into the hearts. Yeah, add some force to this attack. Actually, it doesn't really add that much more. Let's see, so it does that much adding force? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's. I don't think it's worth doing unless you know it's gonna be the killing blow, right? Oh, I'm standing on top of the uh, crate. And I can just fish him off with this guy, right? I want him to, uh... I want him to come around this way first. Actually, I, I could just... If I hit him from behind, does that do more damage? As opposed to 
going here first and hitting him. It does the same. I mean, I'm still going to kill him. Let's kill him. Enemies destroyed. Yes. Okay, whose move is it? Still my move. There's something to investigate here? Like, what are these icons? It's, I'm a little, uh... What am I supposed to do with, with, the, with this information? Taking position! What is your will? Your command! Chill out for now. Wait until the next turn when uh, we will have a full Storm. movement points or AP. I gotta heal my interceptor. Yes, Commander. How many? How much? This is gonna take three AP to move there. Two AP. Great, and I'm going to use. What is the uh, refresh? Yeah, this is the heal. Yeah, heal him. Confirm. These wounds will heal. My wrath is restored, brother. Cool. Interceptor can move over here. Out. And then I'll uh, just put him into defense mode. I can be right in front of the door. Why not? Oh shit, he just flat out kicks the door down. I didn't mean to do that. Still got some AP left over. I'm just gonna take cover. Do we have full cover? Uh, we do. Cool. I, think I may as well move him up. Seventy percent on the uh, bloom meter. Let's go. Uh, so the enemies are most likely, since yeah, there's a dead end here, so enemies are all hiding out in this section. It's most likely. So I'm gonna uh, scrabble into this high cover here. Moving out. Let me I am here to serve. make sure the apothecary is keeping up. Apothecary. I don't want to put them too far back. Yeah. That's way overextending, uh, Ulrich. Hmm. These are interactable thing. I could kick these pillar to, pillars down if I need to. So this is gonna be a two AP to get up to this point. Three A versus three AP if I go hide against this wall here, which actually doesn't advance me all that much. But I don't have I haven't set any Overwatch either, so it's kind of like okay, uh, let's just move up. Let's, let's, let's push push forward. Here we go. They haven't quite revealed themselves yet. But yeah, I'm pretty limited in where I can move next. Hold on a sec. I can move into this um, high cover zone here. Alright, uh, let's use up all our AP to, to support Ulrich. And I'll just satisfy myself with the uh, half cover the and they sh 
show themselves finally. I will fight from here. Another they group of five. Here. Hunkered. Here's a good spot. <laughs> I love how they all uh say something to themselves. Alright, alright. I gotta do a mid mid mission save right about now. Replying to my wife by text message. Okay. Save. All right. What say we? Um, yeah, they're not close enough for me to crush them with the pillars. Unfortunately, that's no fun. But Darik here still has a grenade. Oh, just out of range, but I can get a little closer. Uh, I wonder if I moved here, would that be close enough? Yeah, if I just move to this spot, it should bring me close enough so I can just tag all, all these boyos. Although it leaves me vulnerable to this guy here if on the next turn. When he decides not to do overwatch. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just move all the way here. Yes. Yes. Right in the middle. Let's do it. Yes, Commander. Oh, even hurt the guy at the at the bottom here. Oh no no no! The guy just flew down to his buddy. That's it. Well, I'm gonna take a shot. Oh, I gotta be hit because I, I gotta move forward. I'm gonna step forward. I'm gonna be right in his Overwatch. Okay. In that case, uh, I'll move back. I could also activate my uh, plus two armor. Instead of losing my position. Um, yeah, why do that? Because doing Overwatch isn't going to help. Because these are ranged enemies. Right? I'm trying to see. They're all, yeah, they're all ranged enemies, right? Okay. The Age of Shield Power. Oh, I'm gonna need some backup, that's all. I use up all my grenades now. Unfortunately. It's gonna take 2 AP to move up to this point. Or 1 AP here. Let's move up here. See how much uh, damage we can do with... Uh, I didn't take two shots, right? So I'll pick on this guy. Oh, I can't hit him? I don't have line of sight? I don't have line of sight on any of these guys. Oh man, that sucks. Or are they just out of range? Well. I'm gonna give him some protection. Pardon me. Apothecary, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I want. Yeah, two AP. Get a little closer. Full cover, and then I can give him the. Uh... Oh, I thought. Uh, never mind. Oh, here we go. Is this one right? Oh, okay, this only really matters if he's already hurt. Target an ally at range 10 to heal 5. They will recover 5 HP immediately. Purify 100%. Oh, okay, I thought it was like some kind of buff. 
the apothecary could give his teammate, but not not really. Not at all, actually. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'm just gonna push forward then. Hope this isn't this doesn't end badly for me. And if I do overwatch, it doesn't really do anything in this situation. I can't hit anyone. Shoot. The uh, interceptor is way far away. All I can do is like move up and then. Oh, I can go go around the side here. I could do that. Now we do that. Just, just spread out a bit. Do a little flanking. Yeah! Eat this! Time bomb. Okay, I've I've room I've I've time to move away. Oh, nice! Just auto attacked him as he was trying to uh, as he was trying to run up, run up on me. That guy's dead. Next turn. 100% bloom. Oh shoot. Spike in warp activity below. It is a warp surge, Inquisitor. Such events are common in pitch battles between Sigurds. And yet your brothers have clearly restrained their powers. Something foul is at work below. Warp surge immediately increases each turn based on the planet's corruption level, and whenever you expend willpower using psychic abilities, once the meteor reaches 100%, it will trigger warp surge with unpredictable consequences. Yeah, spawn more enemies usually, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is exactly the guy I wanted to uh, pick. Voldred, my interceptor. I can't do uh, a psychic uh, infuse. Oh, I can do a force strike. Yeah, and I can kill him in one strike. Perfect. Dope. Dope. Uh oh, sh can I can I get this guy too? Oh, I can. Oh, so sweet. Oh, look at that. Okay. Is is uh, it looks like one of the guys here is uh his morale or something is affected. He's just sitting. Does that mean he's hunkered down or what's going on? He's all, he's all like I'm going to go here to attack. Then I can immediately attack this guy too. So, uh here we go. Don't need the force strike. Let's move in. Oh, so good. And then I have still uh, two AP to use, which I'll use to destroy this person. And I'll force strike him dead. All enemies have been cleansed. Good work, Commander. Oh, nice. No time for reinforcements arrive. Oh, sick, sick. Well, that's an easy mission. Echoes of Contagion success. We have successfully purged all the corruption on the planet below. Yes, we killed all enemies, our mission rewards, plus one grimoire, and zero corruption, no armory access. That's that's sad. We got, uh, oh, two promotions. Uh, let's do the promotions, and then after I do the promotions, I will sadly have to end uh, episode three. But let's do the, uh, let's get the promotions done first, shall we? So, uh, my Purgator. How do I want to build this guy? So, if we go down, 
That's going into his uh, willpower stuff. Crit, uh, increases his crit, seems like. We go left, it says defense from the looks of it. Or oh, armor piercing. Oh, okay, crit damage if I go left. And I can get uh, some abilities called return fire. Ammo, efficiency. Oh yeah, going down is more about crit chance. And there's some crit damage. It's it's a little it's a little blurred. There seems to be like some overlap between the uh, between the specializations. And what's up? Blinded, uh, afflicted target deals minus two damage with their range attacks. So more willpower boosts if I go up. Huh, <sighs> being a heavy weapons guy, I probably need to uh, give him more ammo and grenades. Sanctified kill zone, target blast anywhere over area 3 at range 10, afflict vulnerable, no stun, ignore cover. Okay. This seems like the shock and awe sort of uh, branch of uh, this tree. Okay, let's let's give it a try. Let's go on on the right side here. Let's, see. Let's give it a try. So we're getting uh, vulnerable as this first ability. We have two two unlocks. So we go. Oh wait. We have to unlock this first one, which is willpower plus two max WP permanently. Okay. And then we can go into uh, uh, vulnerable. Sanctified kill zone, vulnerable, okay. It's a special ability, it's gonna be it cost one AP and two WP. And it it, uh, it uh, gives afflicted status effect. Okay, we'll give that a try. Yep. And now let's do a uh, Voldrid or inter Interceptor. Once again, I've taken up pick through his uh, skill tree to see what's up. Teleport. <gasps> Teleport to a destination within range 10. Oh, that seems pretty wicked. I can swap positions with another knight. Increase the range of the teleport. Okay, teleport is already looking pretty sexy. Let's see what else is there. Armor upgrades. Uh, this is probably like general damage. Yeah, four strike scene plus one damage. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Okay, damage, damage. So if we go up, what do we get? Cybolt. Cybolt upgrades. I can, I can use the a silencer <laughs> if I go up okay I'm, I'm going for teleport come on now I already have like the, I already have the way paved for me uh, on the side of the tree because I always have these already have these two nodes I already already have teleport it seems like okay so basically 
I can just increase the range, which would be good. Why don't we increase the range? Oh, this is cool. Support fire. I wonder if I can get it from... Yeah, I, I, it looks like I can. Alright, let's increase the range of our teleport. And I'll actually start using it. And then I'll get the support fire. Um, this sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's give this a... Sh uh, try. Oh, but Voldred is uh, a little bit wounded, isn't he? That's right. I didn't heal him. I should have healed him in the field, but I just... I, I, I finished my, my final turn too quickly. If I got my Apothecary to heal Voldred before my turn ended, before I did the killing blow, I could have avoided this 20-day recovery. I, that's what I'm assuming. So that's something to keep in mind, actually, when, I, when I'm playing other missions. Trying to heal my guys up if I know I'm going to be finishing the, the mission. Lesson learned. Okay, it looks like they've stopped tutorializing. Like, they kind of stopped prompting me to go to talk to this person or that person I'm just completely on my own now which is nice which is nice because I've been playing long enough now I feel we got save let's um yeah I keep saving on the same ship manual save ship one okay And that's going to be it uh, for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I actually want to play a little bit more uh, for this episode, but uh, I started recording late, and now uh, recording time has bled into my coffee break time. And so it is time to uh, interact again with some humans, uh, a.k.a. my family, <laughs> and uh, enjoy a little bit of coffee on this Sunday, this rather sunny Sunday afternoon. I do want to thank you all again for watching. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with Demon Hunters now. And I hope you are too, watching along as I make my way through the campaign. Um, when you see this, it'll probably be at the beginning of the week. So I hope you all have a fabulous week. And I hope to return, uh, you know, before long, maybe midweek uh, with uh, episode four. So stay tuned for that. And until then, yeah, you take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.